Let us take the first model from ages. The question here is, the present age of father is 5 times the age of his son. 5 years ago, the age of father was 10 times the age of his son at that time. How old is father at present? So we are supposed to find out the father's present age. And the given options are 45 years, 40 years, 48 years, 49 years and the fifth option is none of these. Let us assume that the father's present age is F and the son's present age is S. Now from the first statement we know that the present age of father is 5 times the age of his son. So we can say that F will be equal to 5 times the age of son that is 5 into S. The second statement says 5 years ago that means 5 years back the age of father was 10 times the age of his son at that time. At that time here means 5 years ago. Let us now see how to frame a equation for the given statement. If the father's present age is f, very clearly his age 5 years ago should be taken as f minus 5 as we have discussed earlier. So father's age 5 years ago was f minus 5 and this was 10 times that means this should be equal to 10 times the age of his son at that time. That means age of the son 5 years ago. Again, if the present age of the son is S, his age 5 years ago should be taken as S minus 5. So we can say that father's age 5 years ago, F minus 5 is equal to 10 times son's age 5 years ago. Now, we have got two equations with two variables that is F and S. So by solving these two equations, we can find out father's age. So the first equation simply says father is equal to 5 times S. From the second equation, we get f minus 5 should be equal to 10s minus 50. Let us now substitute f equals to 5s in place of f in the second equation. So we get f is nothing but 5s minus 5 is equals to 10s minus 50. So from this we can say 10s minus 5s that is 5s is equal to when minus 50 goes to the other side we get plus 50 minus 5 that is 45. So from this s will be equal to 45 by 5 which is 9. But we are supposed to find out father's age at present. Now we know that father's present age is 5 times the son's present age. So if s is equal to 9 we can say f will be equal to 5 into 9 that is 45 years. So very clearly the father's present age should be 45 years which is given in option number 1. But friends, this is the conventional way of solving the problem where we write down the equations as per the given statements and then try to solve the equations to get the age of the given person. So let us now see how to get the answer for this question in a smart way by eliminating the wrong answers. From the first statement, we know that father's age is 5 times the son's age. That means very clearly father's age should be a multiple of 5 as it is 5 into son's age. So let us look at the options and decide which of the given options are multiples of 5. Option number 1 45 is a multiple of 5. So this is a possible answer. Option 2 40 is also a multiple of 5. So even this is a possible answer. But if you look at option 3 48 is not an exact multiple of 5. So this can be eliminated. And option 4 49 is also not a multiple of 5. So even this option gets eliminated. So the possible answers are option 1, option 2 or option 5, none of these. Let us now take option number 1 and try to verify the second condition. As per option number 1, if father's age is 45, son's age should be 9 years. Why? Because father is 5 times the age of son. So 45 is nothing but 5 into 9. So we can say that son's age is 9 years. Now the second statement says 5 years ago age of father was 10 times the age of the son at that time. So 45 is the present age of father and 9 is the present age of son. 5 years ago father's age would be 40 and 5 years ago son's age would be 9 minus 5, 4. And very clearly we, from this we can understand that father's age is 10 times the son's age and which is given in statement number 2. So very clearly option number 1 satisfies both the conditions. So we can say that option 1 is the correct answer. So friends this is how we can eliminate the wrong answers 
and then try to verify which is the correct answer among the given options by checking with the given conditions.